Hey you! So today we're going to be talking about the final part of the Power Morphicon um, videos, um, the traveling, the packing, everything like that, um, which I've already previously done. And I've just found my notes and I found a lot more I, I talked about traveling, so we're going to add that in. But with this one, I wanted to talk about what is Power Morphicon. So if you don't know what Power Morphicon is, Power Morphicon is the official Power Rangers convention. It's the biggest one in the entire world, and it is by far my favorite convention of all time. Power Morphicon started back in 2007 with Mel, and it was a absolutely fantastic convention. Um, it then was taken over by Scott, who has done a fantastic, one of the best conventions in the world to me. Um, so thank you, Scott. So thank you for pretty much everyone who has been, just, we all want to say thank you. Um, or if not, I want to say thank you. So as we're in 2018, the next Power Morphicon is here. Um, so I kind of really wanted to talk about what the, everything about it that I could think of and share my experiences with you. Originally, it was held uh, in the Pasadena area of California um, or Los Angeles and it's now been moved to the Anaheim Convention Center as I've previously said in the travel video or the intro video um, that this was mainly where VidCon, TanaCon, all that sort of stuff has been happening in the area. Um, I really want to go to VidCon and that will possibly be next year or the year after that I go. What can you expect from Power Morphicon? Power Morphicon, you're going to expect a lot of Power Rangers. You know, there's pretty much almost every single one that are here at the convention. You also have the chance to buy autographs, to buy photo shoots, to get things signed, you know, to interact with them. Now, I will be talking about the do's and don'ts hopefully in a bit about when you meet rangers and stuff. So the ticket prices have been, and I have to admit, I know this is a bit, little bit late, but you may still have some time to actually buy tickets. You get a lot for your money. I have gone for silver. Um, I thought it was the best one for my money at the time because I'm not really into a lot of like stuff, like goodie bags, but I thought, you know what? This is gonna be a nice convention for me. Let's get this and let's have all this sort of stuff done. So I thought, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll go for silver. That's a good one. It's in my price budget and I'm more than happy with it. With obviously you have like different Ranger passes. The biggest ones you've got is platinum, gold, silver, normal. And then obviously you've got day tickets and stuff like that if you want to attend and do it that way. This year they've done stuff slightly differently with exclusives. Originally with the other exclusives I've picked up and the Ranger key pack, uh, which was the titanium and wolf metallic range from the, for the Morpheus. Um, but then also then they had the black and gold Megazord and then this year you've got Lord Draken the throne also have the pop vinyl and you could buy these ahead of time so now you don't have to get up at like three in the morning believe me that is a that was a pain but I don't normally do that so as an experience just to stand in line and talk to people and I absolutely loved it so you have the chance to stand in line, or you did back then, to gain the exclusives and stuff. You also, this year, you're gonna have the Ninja Steel cast. They are gonna be probably signing. Originally, you've had like the other Rangers. So you had the Super Mega Force Rangers, um, then you obviously had Dino Charge. So this year will be the Ninja Steel. You also at Power Morphicon have the chance to see who is going to be the lineup for the actors for the next series. So this is gonna be so much fun. It always starts with like kind of a Q&A panel um, of the previous Rangers um, or the Rangers, yeah, the previous Rangers. And then it moves into the whole, this is the next Ranger team where they kind of like shout the morph pose um, and then they kind of like take photos and they bow and then they just disappear. Um, last time um, that I went, uh, Yoshi's brother um, had become the Blue Ninja Steel Ranger. I was gonna say Ninja Steel, Blue Ninja Steel Ranger. And it was an emotional time. It was actually generally a lot of fun seeing it because Yoshi didn't know at all. So that I actually generally thought, oh, I was so glad that I could get it on camera. Now, as I mentioned, you can have autographs and you can have photo ops. So autographs is basically the Ranger will say it will cost this much for an autograph. So it obviously could be something from $25, $50, $100, whichever one you get. So for me, I would budget. The only ones that I've said that previously I would get would be Sierra Hannah and I might get one or two more because I've got some favorite Rangers that are going, oh, do you know what? I kind of really want to get, like I really like uh, the actor who plays Chase in Dino Charge. So I'd get his one and then obviously I'd get the one that plays Ivan as well. Um, I apologize for not knowing your names off by heart. Um, 
But yeah, I would get those sorts of autographs. And what you do is like you stand in line or go up to their table and go, I would like this. You can have a quick conversation, you know, tell them a little bit of story, you know, tell them why you like their character. With this, then obviously you then hand over the money and it's signed. Now I would recommend getting kind of like a hardback protector for your autographs. I've done this a few times because I don't want that autograph to get kind of ruined as I'm going somewhere or it's in a bag. Um, for me, I will either take a, a normal like backpack with me or a satchel so I can put stuff in there and go, cool, this is fun for me. Um, so I'll make sure that I keep it safe. Um, if I want to take anything going signed, I will keep that safe. So one of the main missions that I wanted was to have this signed. I, I picked this up uh, in my goodie bag and this was for, I think the second, uh, no, the th yeah, the second Power Morph kind of thing back in 2010. Um, or roughly around about that time. Um, I really wanted all these signed, but I didn't really want my name on it. Um, but Karen actually signed my name. I was like, yeah, this is for me. This this is now gonna be framed properly. You may have seen them in like the previous videos where it's that giant big power morph con thing, but I wanted to make sure this was wholeheartedly signed so I could do it. And I was glad that I did. There's things like that that I would get signed. That to me is more personal than say a photograph or something that just says like, uh, to Mark, you know, all the best you. That to me was something that I wanted and it took me a long time to get it. Um, also, I, I didn't, I was gonna do the same um, with all the bad guys, but I wanted like the kind of voice actors. And I don't think Baboon Squat, the voice actors, I don't, can't remember. I don't think that they'd been there. Um, so I literally just got that one. I may get it signed by uh, Robert Actual, who plays Lord Zed, and I may say, call that a day. And then I would have it on my wall somewhere because that's cool. So these are the things that I would kind of get autographed. So obviously I would pay how much it is and then boom, you know, it's all signed. So that means a lot more to me. And obviously I know a lot of people get like figures signed, they get personal items, they get tattoos. Little things like that is obviously what you can get with the autographs. And I find that far more interesting than kind of normal. Now, photo ops was something that I've never kind of really delved into. Um, there was one that I, I had, and I'll, I'll try and take a photo of it. Uh, no, no. So photo ops is something kind of new to me. I know of them. It's not like, it's like, oh, what is a photo op? But I never really saw the kind of appeal to it, just to me personally. Um, but obviously over time, I've seen people dead happy, like, yes, I finally got like all the Power Rangers. I've had my autograph or I had my photo taken with them. I'm so happy. And I think last time I got one with Ciara Hanna, but I didn't like the way that I looked. I think it was like, so to me, I, I think that if I was to get another one, which I will do, um, I want a posed one. I want one that is funny. Um, I think so far, like one of my favorite ones um, was with Kimberly Crossman. And then there was obviously David who played RJ from um, Jungle Fury. So you can obviously see the pictures. Um, I was really happy to have them. And these are the ones that if they do go again, I would wholeheartedly get like kind of photos like properly done and yeah, I, I kind of like that. So photo ops obviously you pay for and that that shows that you can have a lot of fun. Some of, I, I don't really know how to kind of do this video really. Um, as he says like almost 12 minutes into it. Um, I generally think that my experience is, is has, has been fun. Um, as I said, like obviously collecting the exclusives, like being up at a really random time when people have gone, oh my God, you are crazy. I'm like, Man, I'm doing this as, as have the experience and obviously like the friends and the people that I have met um, I think rather than having this as a this is what you can do This is the kind of my experience video. Yeah, let's just let's just do experience video So like the people that I've met over the years at Power Morphcon like I have wholeheartedly enjoyed their company I look forward to every single time I go to the States um, just to see them and just go hey cool let, let's just like see and do things and, and talk randomly. So hopefully this year I'm going to do a few interviews, but this time I kind of really want to relax a little bit. Um, this convention is something that I'm really looking forward to. One thing like with the do's and don'ts that I have noticed is obviously there is respecting people, respecting the actors as well as the staff, as well as all the people at the convention. If you see someone kind of uh, talking to someone either from like the actors or someone in general, Literally, if they're having a conversation, don't butt in. Don't turn around and go, oh yeah, I really like this and like that, or, you know, try and take that conversation away because A, it's really rude and B, it will annoy them because how would, the way I think of it is, how would you like it 
if someone did that to you, like you're having a nice conversation and someone went in, so yeah, about that, you know, hey, how are you doing? Can I have your attention now? Wait for them or come back later when they're kind of free. Normally when I've waited for interviews, I will either go and ask them the time, go back and see them, but I wouldn't kind of rush in or kind of interrupt someone. I'll kind of wait until they finish talking. Um, hopefully it's not like an hour long conversation, but I will wait and then kind of talk to them afterwards. A few years ago, I was on Ranger Command Power Hour um, and we were talking about the kind of do's and don'ts again at, at the convention. Or one of the things is hygiene. And I know this is a, sometimes is a touchy subject for people, but literally wash and shower. I will be doing that because we Brits, we, we sometimes don't do well in in the sun in the in the sun so we're gonna be sweating a lot and you know obviously I'm gonna be on deodorant pretty much maybe like 20 million times a day that's a lot of cans um, but mainly like I would shower so I'd shower in the morning I'd shower at night one thing is I'd hate if someone like kind of commented on my hygiene um, I would be very embarrassed and I would be like I'm scrubbing myself in the shower constantly to get rid of this like stink um, but obviously make sure that you know, shower, you know, and again, it's, it's a touchy subject and just, just shower, just, just shower. That's all I can, uh, all I can say. Um, what else? Like just the experience of Power Morphicon is absolutely like fantastic. The main things is also you have dealers, like you have the ability to buy things. So from the last time we had uh, Boom, uh, Boom Comics, which had the exclusive Power Morphicon copy, which I picked up. Um, then also you have dealers that will do also artwork, but then also you have things that the Rangers might be selling. I still want a Kimberly Crossman book. I've been asking her so many times, when will you be bringing it? Because I really wanted to buy it. Um, you know, little things like that, that you can buy from them. So make sure that you've got kind of extra spends just for that. Again, I kind of covered that previously in the other video. Um, you know, so you have loads of things that you can buy from the dealers, toys, artwork, comics, you know, autographs, anything that you can think of, it's there. So just make sure that when you go and then you have a lot of fun, make sure that you kind of really like kind of budget well, um, or just kind of buy what you want, not just for the sake of it. Um, I know a few people I've talked to have said like they would run around getting every single autograph and then they were like, oh, but I don't have enough money. I'm like, budget that's that's all you've got to do another thing is like what can i expect and you can expect an amazing time i think this year i um, mean 2018 just in case you're watching this in the future you've got the angel grove prom you have um competitions you've got the film entries you've also got loads of other things like loads of panels i absolutely love panels um so that's going to be my main focus this year is getting as many panels as i can because they're the ones that i really enjoy they're the ones i love like i love when they do the Q and A with all the Rangers. I absolutely freaking love that because um, it's just interesting to hear stories. Oh, so I, I, I could go on for ages, but I know that this video is getting kind of long. Um, so, in a nutshell, Power Morphicon, one of the best conventions I've ever been to. What can you expect? Panels, Q and As, uh, meeting the Rangers, uh, buying stuff from comics to toys to certain items to artwork. Do's and don'ts, make sure that you respect everybody there. You know, respect the actors, respect the uh, the, the people attending, uh, respect the staff, everything. Just respect everybody there. Treat them how you would like to be treated. And hopefully that's in a good thing. Um, obviously shower, make sure that you get rid of the Kong Funk. Um, because believe, believe me, it's not nice if you're in a, like over a hundred degree heat and that's it, you know, it's not nice. I'm gonna be showering quite a lot over there. Um, I'm also gonna be wearing a lot of deodorant. Um, you know, and obviously just respect people. If you see people talking to each other, don't try and butt in. Either wait for a, a space to say, hey, how are you doing? Um, and loads of other things. And also, if you see me, come and say hello because I'd like to say hello to all of you and like, take photos. Oh, yeah, it's just, let's just take photos. Let's just hang out and let's chill. This is the main thing. It's this year, I just want to basically relax at a con. I've never really done it for the past God knows how many years. So this one, I just want to kind of relax. So if you see me and you want to take a photo, if you want to come say hello, then do so. I'd like to say hello and take photos and I'll post them all over the Facebook page. And you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I know there's a lot of people that I kind of really want to see. So I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I expected this to be kind of a, 
talking all about it, but it's just kind of my experiences and little things that I kind of remember. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. If you've liked this video, like, favorite, comment, and consider subscribing. Check out all the other videos in the on the channel. If you want to help out the pay, uh, if you want to help out the channel on Patreon, links in the description down below. And as always, Rangers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.